Yo, what is up? This is Nike Fanatic coming to you guys today with another video. This video is on, it's a top 5 list. It's going to be top 5 sneakerhead life hacks that will make your life as a sneakerhead easier. It's going to be tips and tricks and just like advice when you're collecting sneakers and how to keep a good collection. So let's get into this video with number 5. Okay, for number 5, it's going to be like cleaning and maintenance on your shoes. And a big part of having a good sneaker collection is always keeping your sneakers clean. And when you have a lot of white pair of shoes like I do, it's tough to keep them all clean. So here's some products that help these um, make your, keep your shoes clean. I'm going to give you some testing on these products in the next clip. But this is, I took the label off, but it's an Adidas like spray-on cleaner. A lot of brands make this. They sell it like Foot Locker and Champs. But basically you spray it on and it foams up and you like scrub it off. Next I have, um, whoa, next I have some waterproofer. Uh, this waterproofer, it keeps your shoes, like, this shoe's waterproof right here, and there's a couple other are, but it just keeps your shoes from, like, it just basically waterproofs them. And I'll show you guys a clip of me, I'll just demonstrate how it works on those shoes. So, yeah, this is very helpful when you have lighter shoes, like I did, if you ever spilled, any, spilled anything on your shoes, it just keeps them protected. Then my last thing is, um, it's, like, odor eliminator, and this really helps if you, like, have a pair of beaters that just stink, or if you buy a used pair of shoes, and you can just spread this in there, and it will, like, kill the bacteria and make them fresh. You don't have to worry about any funky stuff that somebody else had on their foot transferring to your feet. So, yeah, this is also very important. So, I'll demonstrate some cleaners and the wa waterproofer right now. Yeah. Dropped out of school, now we done, Rich. Done. This sound like some 4301 shit. shit All my niggas wanna do is pop style, pop style. Turn my birthday into a lifestyle. a lifestyle Tell my mama I love her if I do not make it do not make it. so many Okay, for sneaker life hack number four is actually This is for maintaining your shoes when you're not wearing them It's shoe trees You can get these at Ikea They're like a dollar for a set which is very cheap. I have them in a bunch of my shoes, and it really maintains the form, or it stretches out the shoe if it's a little tight on you, but it really maintains the form, and it gets creases out. Like, on actually, on these shoes, these are, like, these crease easily, because they're, like, uh, like, the material, they crease pretty easily, and the shoe trees help keep the creases out. Same with a lot of leather shoes, but the shoe trees just really help make maintain the shape of your shoe. After you beat it for a while, it does really keep the shape looking nice. Like, the shape on this shoe still is very nice. I keep the shoe train here, even though the bottom's about to, like, rip through. So, yeah. This sneaker, you can also get, like, real shoe trees made out of wood for, like, $30 on some websites. They probably have them on Amazon and all that stuff. But, yeah, Ikea shoe trees are only a dollar a set, and they're really nice for, like, a runner or any leather shoes just to maintain the shape. So, yeah, that's shoe trees. Okay, for our next life hack, this is more of a tip, but for number three, I have... Like, lacing your shoes to complement the style and how you're wearing them. Because a lot of the times I see people, like, wearing their shoes, like, how these are tied. Like, I just don't think this looks good when they're all, like, flopping out like that. But for some shoes, it looks nice. Like, when the tongue is attached, I feel like that style looks very nice. Like, on an Ultra Boost, the tubular. And on some other shoes where the tongue is attached, I feel like that complements a little better. But in my opinion, a lot of the times... Just tying your shoe up normally like this, or like this, or something like this. I feel like this looks better than any other style. Like, if you're ever deciding on how to tie your shoe, or like lace them up, I feel like just tying your shoe like normal really complements it the best. I feel like there's no other, like, like it's just very simple how they're meant to be worn, and I feel like it just looks very nice. It, especially with shorts. Maybe if you have pants or something, maybe untying the shoelaces like this a little bit would look a little better so you can kind of put the jeans or whatever pants you're wearing behind the tongue but yeah most of the time i just like when you lace your shoes up normally so that's sneakerhead life hack number three okay for sneakerhead life hack number two i feel like one of the most important parts of being a sneakerhead is finding deals on websites some of my favorite websites are websites like directkicks.com that's where i bought these off them for i literally bought these brand new for retail which is a very good deal. And another good website that I like that actually Scoop Toy uses also is dopefoot.com. I'm going to link these websites in the description. And another good one is eBay. I mean, some people don't like buying off eBay, 
But if you use PayPal, then you're going to be protected if the shoe's fake or it's not what you expected it to be. Like a lot of the times I see people ordering brand new shoes that turn out to be worn a couple times and there's some scuffs on them. And that's just not cool. So PayPal ensures your purchases. Always make sure you buy through PayPal. Never give them cash or anything like that. That's just silly. You should never do that. And also, if you're using PayPal, make sure you don't gift it. Make sure you use an invoice. I think it's PayPal invoice because then that guarantees you're protected if the shoe turns out to be not legit or not how you expected it to come. So I'll list all my favorite websites down in the description below. So yeah, that's sneakerhead life hack number two. Okay, for the final sneakerhead life hack, and I feel like it's one of the most important, at least for me, what I love to do is make sure my sneaker display looks as cool as possible. So the most important thing I feel like is having a good display that complements your collection. This is a nice simple one. I just bought a shoe rack and I filled them up and then I put the boxes around it to really add like, a better touch. And then I actually ran out of space. So I kind of just threw these shelves on top and I put the more sh shoes up there. But another good one is some just metal um, stacking shelves. That's if you just want to keep them in the box and stack them like that. But I'll throw some pictures up on the screen of really cool like sneaker rooms. I feel like this is just, this is a nice one for me. I'm going to have to change it soon because I actually ran out of room for my shoes. So I'll throw some pictures up on the screen and just do what, like be original and do what you think looks cool. Because I feel like that this is a really cool thing. Like just have your shoes like displayed instead of thrown in a corner. Like just all the box piled up. Because I feel like it's just as important as your collection. So yeah, I'm going to throw some pictures up on the screen and just be creative and do your own thing with it. I'll show you some ideas and that's, but you guys take your twist from there. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to post, I'm going to start posting a lot more frequently because I want to get my content up because I want you guys to have more fun with this channel. I'm going to try to gain some subscribers, get my channel up. So on that note, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.